taurine slows down the aging process. New research suggests that taurine, an amino acid produced by the human body and often added to energy drinks, may slow down aging. Experiments have shown that this extraordinary amino acid extended the life of mice by up to 12%. But it is not clear how this compound affects the aging process and whether it can also work in humans. New research on taurine shows that it has an extremely beneficial effect on animal health. Aging mice and monkeys may live longer and be in better shape when fed large amounts of this amino acid. Scientists have previously shown that the level of taurine in the body decreases with age. Now it turns out that taking it in the form of a dietary supplement can delay the development of health problems related to aging in animals. Experts warn, however, that the results should be approached with great caution and cannot be easily translated to humans. The description and results of the research were published in the journal, Science. Taurine is a popular ingredient in dietary supplements and energy drinks. It is naturally produced by the human body and helps e.g. in the digestion of fats and the transport of creatinine to the muscles. New research suggests that giving high doses of taurine to animals can extend their lives. However, Scientists emphasize that there are many different factors associated with aging. However, the results provide a starting point for future research into therapies that will help extend life. In the 21st century, scientists around the world have intensified their efforts to finally stop the negative processes associated with aging. In this spirit, a team of researchers from Columbia University Vegalos College of Physicians and Surgeons in New York decided to observe changes in taurine levels that occur with age. Experts have previously linked the presence of the amino acid to bone health, immunity, and nervous system function. Now they have measured the concentration of taurine in the blood of mice monkeys and humans and found that its levels decrease with age. For example, 15-year-old monkeys had 85% less taurine in the blood than 5-year-old animals. Experts decided to investigate the relationship between taurine and animal health. To do this, they administered a solution of this amino acid to a group of mice every day. It turned out that the lifespan of animals increased by about 12%. In females and 10%. In males compared to individuals in control groups. Mice given taurine experienced a number of health benefits, including increases in endurance and muscle strength. In females, there was a reduction in depression and anxiety related behaviors and a strengthening of the immune system. The researchers also fed food containing taurine to roundworms, Kynorhabditis elegans, and middle-aged monkeys, Macaca mulata. The taurine-fed nematodes lived longer and were healthier than those in the control group. Macaques, on the other hand, had lower body weight, denser bones and healthier livers. The results are also confirmed by research at the cellular level. Taurine is a cell protector and promotes cell survival, says Herminia Pesantes, a biologist at the National Autonomous University of Mexico. In her opinion, it is good that studies have been carried out on living organisms. At the same time, he emphasizes that the aging process is complex, and taurine alone or its absence does not cause it. It is also worth noting that the tested mice were given high doses of taurine in relation to their body weight. These were levels that may exceed safe limits for human consumption. The authors acknowledge that the chemical mechanisms by which taurine affects cells are not fully understood. Researchers do not recommend people consume over-the-counter taurine supplements to maintain health or slow the aging process. Research is underway into the mechanisms that taurine induces in cells and other organs. 
only after learning the principles of operation of the substance. Scientists will be able to determine how taurine can be used in therapies that promote longevity in humans. Huge amounts of oxygen on the moon. Humanity can take advantage of them. The conquest of space is not only expeditions of probes and people to remote areas of the solar system. It also involves large investments in technologies that in the future may allow for the effective use of resources located close to the Earth. One similar project is the search for the best way to produce oxygen on the Moon. In October 2021, the Australian Space Agency and NASA signed an agreement to send a rover to the Moon as part of the Artemis program. Its goal is to collect rocks that could be used to produce oxygen on our natural satellite in the future. The European Space Agency is also planning its mission with innovative reactors. The Moon has an atmosphere, but it is very thin and consists mainly of hydrogen, neon and argon. This makes it impossible for living organisms that depend on oxygen to survive on its surface. But paradoxically, the surface of the silver globe is full of this element necessary for breathing. The main problem is that oxygen remains trapped in the relith, the layer of rock and fine dust that covers the moon's surface. However, researchers are asking themselves, if we could extract oxygen from the regolith, would it be enough to sustain life on the moon? Oxygen can be found in many minerals found on Earth. The Moon is mostly made of the same rocks that are on our planet. The silver globe is dominated by minerals such as silica, aluminum and iron and magnesium oxides. They all contain oxygen and come in different forms. From hard rocks to dust, gravel and stones on the surface. Some researchers even refer to the Moon's surface layer as soil. However, this is not an entirely accurate term, because the soil known from Earth was formed over millions of years, thanks to organisms that process the native regolith. Thanks to these processes, an unprecedented surface layer with extraordinary physical, chemical and biological properties has developed on our planet. Meanwhile, the materials on the lunar surface are regolith in their original, untouched form. Researchers believe that the lunar regolith is 45%. It consists of oxygen, which is closely related to minerals. It takes a lot of energy to break these strong bonds. This process is widely known and used on Earth. Examples include electrolysis and aluminum production. The current is passed through the alumina, producing aluminum and oxygen as a byproduct. On the moon, oxygen would be the main product. And any other materials extracted from the minerals could be potentially useful, waste. Today on Earth, we have the right technology to produce oxygen in this way. These processes are well known to chemists and potentially simple to use. Their biggest downside is the large amount of energy that must be supplied to break down the minerals. It would also be a huge challenge to move and install industrial equipment on the silver globe. However, research is underway to improve the technologies we know. Earlier this year, Belgian startup Space Applications Services announced that it was building three experimental reactors to support the process of producing oxygen using electrolysis. The company expects to send the technology to the Moon by 2025 as part of the European Space Agency's in situ resource utilization ISRU, mission. Researchers aren't sure how much oxygen is in the rocks deeper below the moon's surface. However, they estimate that there is plenty of it in the easily accessible relith itself. Each cubic meter of this material is about 1.4 tons of minerals, including about 630 kilograms of oxygen. 
According to scientists, humans need to breathe about 800 grams of oxygen a day to survive. Thus, 630 kilograms of oxygen would keep a person alive for more than two years. Assuming that the regolith available for extraction is located at a depth of up to 10 meters, it is estimated that we can obtain from it the amount of oxygen necessary to sustain the life of 8 billion people for 100,000 years.